If you said during her freshman year at Michigan that soccer player Holly Hine would have been the captain one day, it wouldn't have been hard to believe. But three years after she started 19 games and led the team with three game-winning goals, the road has not been an easy one. Holly was a very good player from day one. Uh, we didn't have the strongest team at the time, and uh, uh, but she was willing to do anything she could and would come up to me after games, what can I do more, how can I help more? And I'm like, Holly, you know, you might want to wait a couple years till we get you some help. Um, because she was a very skillful player that really connected the team well. It's just we weren't that kind of team yet. A major knee injury cost her most of the 2010 season as Hine missed the final 13 games of her sophomore year. While in for ACL surgery, doctors noticed a small bump on Hines' neck. While it previously hadn't been a problem, it was something to keep an eye on. After spending the summer at home in California, Hine returned to campus in 2011 with a fully rehabbed knee, and on her first day of preseason training, she got a call she won't soon forget. I had gone to like meetings in the morning, um, got started and came home, was gonna get ready to go to our barbecue that night, and um, got a call from my doctor from back home. I'd had tests done um, when I was home for the summer and he was just like, Holly, it's the thyroid cancer you've got. So um, that was kind of how everything went from there and it was a little bit of a shock, obviously. <laughs> when I was on the phone with the doctor, when they found out, I, I really just like, I didn't pay attention to anything else but that word really. And so I didn't really grasp the like what kind of cancer I had or anything I actually had to call him back with my parents after and just kind of um, go through the process of really figuring out what was going on. Hein was one of the 50,000 plus nationwide diagnosed with thyroid cancer 2011. The outlook was promising surgery to remove the thyroid gland and surrounding lymph nodes followed by a four-week radio iodine treatment. My trainer Tina told me first about it and and then I spoke with Holly about it and you know and I was surprised at you know how I won't say nonchalant but how strong she was in, in our first conversation because I think it's the kind of thing that would rock most people's worlds and Holly just seemed like mm, caught a cold. With her parents and coach now aware the next group to tell was her teammates. It was like the beginning of preseason last year and we were all in the locker room um, and she just like went up front and uh, actually I didn't know what she was going to say. Um, the captains like were with her I think and she just said like I have an announcement to make and we all kind of like looked around you know um, and just said like just want to let you guys know like I got diagnosed with this and like honestly like everything she said was kind of a blur because that's all I heard you know. Hines teammates rallied around her presenting her with a plaque just before her surgery which, for the second straight year, ended her season just six games in. The team also wore armbands with Heinz number 21. They really did become my second family away from home. Um, being from Southern California, it was a little difficult without having my parents right here and my family right around, but I couldn't have done it without them, and I'm very happy to have that second family and home here in Michigan. She was always just so calm and collective. Um, very mature about it all and I don't think she ever sat there and pitied herself or anything like that and instead she sat there and supported the team and wanted the best for the team. I felt like she taught me more in that part of her life than I could have ever like done for her. I was able to focus on soccer and you know just thinking about them and the season and those kinds of things instead of like what you know what I had to go through it was just kind of you know soccer has always been my outlet so um, it was nice, and then they were just so supportive. Like I, it would have been incredibly difficult to think about going through it without having them all around and um, doing, you know, anything that I could have possibly needed. We were already a close team, but having something that is more than just soccer, and having somebody like that, regardless of what the season outcome is, like we don't even care, you know. Like Holly, like I, I, I lo would love to have you out on this field, and I would love for you to be playing, but. I just like love you like above everything else, you know, and that's kind of like how the whole team went about it. Like we just want her to know like we're here for her like no matter what, like when we're done college, like when we're all like 10 years from now, you know, like we're like a family besides just a team. Although she wasn't able to get back on the field in 2011, her recovery went well. 
And when the curtain went up on the 2012 season, Hine was ready. <laughs> taking her trademark tenacity and toughness to a new position, defense. You know, player at center back, and we've trained her there in the past, uh, but I think, you know, she's doing so well. She's playing really like a pro center back does, you know, just making the right decisions, being in the right position, reading the game ahead of time. And, and making the position look easy, even though it's not. It's a lot of fun. It's it's a new position that you know I didn't really I didn't grow up playing, so I don't have all the like knowledge and you know little ins and outs of the back line that you would learn. So it's been uh, really awesome to learn from Greg and from my teammates, um, you know how to play back there and how to you know make sure the back line is in order. Um, a little bit different than playing in the attack, but. It's, it's really also good to have that knowledge. Um, it makes playing defense a little bit easier when you can like, understand how the other person you're playing against is thinking. With the help of High, Michigan has posted eight shutouts in their first 11 games, including a school record, five straight. The redshirt junior was named the Big Ten Defensive Player of the Week on August 20th and even scored her first goal since 2009. Without her this year, I think it would be a totally different season. She's been vocal, she wins balls, she helps everyone else about where they need to be on the field. She's constantly giving me really great directions on the field, so that's helped a ton. She was a good player, she's becoming a great player. Um, you know, the extra years, and we get her back for one more year as well, and she's already you know, playing well beyond what you'd expect of a senior even. And uh, so, and then as a person, I think she's grown so much in terms of having gone through these experiences herself, she now has, really understands and has empathy for other people that are going through the same thing and reaches out to them. So I think you've just seen Holly become a very, very uh, mature, caring, and talented soccer player. It's just a lot of fun. and. Happy to be able to play again. Maybe really, you know, realize how fortunate you are to be on the field every day at practice, and whether it's practice or a game, or you know, just kicking around with friends. It's it means a lot and so much more when you realize uh, that you it's possible that you couldn't be doing it. So, reporting for mgoblue.com, I'm Anthony Paladano.